Hello my friends, welcome to day 17 on Harmony, our forever island. Sorry for the little hiccup there, the dog always decides to start right when I start. Look at the sky out her window. What a beautiful time to be playing. I didn't realize it was that late. <laughs> I took some medication for my dizziness yesterday and man, I was so sleepy. I woke up a bunch of times, but then I stayed in bed till like 11 this morning, which, oh my gosh, that's so many hours past when I sleep. So my day seems a lot shorter. We have an announcement today? Oh, our cafe! We can go to the roost today! That'll be fun! Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, we can do a ceremony today. We have, we should have, do we have Timbra? Oh, we got Timbra yesterday, that's right. So we have all 10 villagers. Oh, that's a good time to do a ceremony. And the museum is a great place to do a ceremony. I think we're probably gonna, you know, do a ceremony. Okay, Isabel, thank you so much. Okay, so, oh, I left a present there. I forgot I had an extra one. Uh-oh. <gasps> Did you see how I only had one thing? That means I forgot to order last night. Darn it, that's <laughs> that's one day later that we'll get our app. This, this trash can needs to be turned. Oops, not if I can't touch it. There we go, that's better. The handle should be on the side. Come on, people. Now, I know I can't gift, um, I can't gift 10 villagers, but I put 10 of these in my pockets. So that every time I talk to somebody, if I can't gift them, I'll just move it over here. But yesterday I was like, I don't remember how many I started with and I don't remember why I took the many. So I'm just, I'm just carrying 10. Um, what did I need to do? Oh, I want to show you something very quickly. Hello there, little snow boy. I'll talk to you later. So let's go over here. Um, cause I didn't mention this before. One of the things I do after I get three stars usually, sometimes I do it earlier, but usually after I get three stars and take this um, this back row off, let me show ya. So this, th see that right behind me? It used to end at the stone and now it's got an extra spot right there um, so that I can run from side to side, but you may see over here that I have, I have tree branches. I have dropped 15 tree branches and one stone so that they won't just naturally fall from the trees anymore and there won't be one just by a rock anymore because I find that obnoxious to clean up. Now, if you drop a stack of branches, then it won't count. They have to be 15 individual branches. So if you don't want them to spawn, that is how you do it. This is what I wanted to do, not that. Um, oh, I got the kettlebell last night from, do I have more than one jock? Because it was from a jock. Um, goose. Uh, oh, it was Leonardo. He must be a jock because I think it was Leonardo. Okay, let's actually, you know what? I haven't done this in a while. Let's take a picture of our people. I like to highlight the, um, the airport <laughs> so that um, it's not fixed on people. And I try to do it when the airport's flashing. Usually I take the picture while I'm in the airport, so it's not in the way, but you know, whatever. Um, I added a table right there. That's cute. So, um, oh, I was reading comments and learning about how all your islands are going, and that's super fun. I love that so much. And about how your life is going. Anybody who's having a, a, a tough time right now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If there's something awesome that happened in your life, let us know in the comments and we'll all cheer with you. If there's something you're struggling with that you can put in there without, you know, causing everybody anxiety and, and whatever, but we can support you, put that in there. But remember, this needs to be family friendly. Um, as you see, I have a few stars. I didn't get very many. Um, there were more than I got, but I was, I was working on my flower garden and my regular garden. I'll show you. Hello, Broccolo. I put all those <laughs> presents in my, in my, I got more than I thought I did in my pockets. And then how many did I get? Well, seven so far. Um, and then I never gift them while I'm recording, but I really do. Seriously, I don't even want to talk to you. 
Do you think she wants to go? We have our 10th villager. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick all these up and then I'm going to go into somebody's house. If I go into a house or into a building and come back out and she still has it, then it's a move out bubble. But if it's not a move out bubble and I go into somebody's house and come back out, then it will go away. But here's the thing. I, I don't mind letting her go. I've had her before, but this is what I was going to say. When I was reading the comments, <clears throat> people were telling me about their islands. Kells told me that they are, oops, they are, um, hello, Pinky. They are doing great on their island and taking it slow, playing old school and not letting anybody leave until they get their picture, which is also what I'm doing, and not letting anybody leave until they get until they do a vacation home for them. And I was like, that is the best idea ever. And I don't want Molly to leave before I do a vacation home for her. So if it's a move out bubble, I'll go do a vacation home for her first and then I'll talk to her later because she'll have it all day. But let's, so I can't go into her house. Who's gonna be home? Maybe, oh, okay, we're gonna go in here. Who's this, Timbra? I think this is Timbra. Hey, Timbra. Ooh, you have a pretty house. Although I do think that that log bed doesn't really fit in with everything else. Is it a hand-me-down from your grandma? Because if it is, you should absolutely keep it in your house. Or maybe it's your style and everything else is a hand-me-down from your grandma. Or maybe you're just eclectic. You know, we love that too. I'm very eclectic. We support eclectic here. Uh, yeah, yeah, teach me. And since I know I can't gift her, I don't have to try to gift her right now because, uh, you know, this counts as talking to her, so we're good. Thank you. Okay, let's go see Molly. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to learn that. Okay. And then I'm going to move this. So I know that I have talked to one person I couldn't gift. That's what that's for. Because I'm old and can't track anything anymore. Where are you, Molly? Are you still over here? <gasps> she wants to move. Oh, Molly, I'll, I have to talk to you later because I have to do your home first. So I will talk to her later, but um, it, it looks like we're going to go on a villager hunt in a couple of days, and that's very exciting. Um, for the new ones, I want to get everybody's photo. I have hers from an old island, and right now, because I want to get new ones, I'm not going to worry about it yet. I do have her amiibo too, so I could bring her back and um, and get her photo on this island later, should I decide that's what I want to do. Okay, so there's nobody in the plaza. Did I see somebody already? I might. Red was here yesterday. It's not going to be Red. Um, did I see? I just ran the beach, and I don't remember seeing anybody. Oh, so um, you may, you probably won't notice, but my flower garden used to start like right here and it was just too close. It was, it was encroaching and annoying. So I pushed it back and I actually adjusted it. So um, this is zone one, this is zone two, this is zone three, and this is zone four. I liked having this one be zone one. But the grid is um, the other way. It has zone one at the top. So just for simplicity and to make it easier when I'm checking, I put, I put it that way. I will put some pathing here. I know I still kind of had to walk around it a little bit. I will be moving that tree and I'll put some pathing there so that I will just naturally run past it instead of um, zigzagging and stuff. But something that was in the way while I was over there, I mean why I, that I had to move for that, is my crops were over there. So I have now moved my crops over here. And um, let's see, we've got wheat. I don't remember if I watered them. I might not have watered them the first time. <clears throat> so we'll see. I'll water later today and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Wheat, sugar, and then nothing. And then that's going to be tomatoes. And then pumpkins. And I think I'm going to go carrots and potatoes. So they're kind of in ascending height, kind of-ish. But we'll see, and if I don't like it, I'll move them. But, so I move those over there. Um, I don't know if they'll stay there, but right now, that's a good space for them. I have them there. And um, 
they it, I'll remember to take care of them because I'll be passing them all the time but um, crafts can be good money makers on never sure my hard mode island I actually had four times that many and I could make uh, 400,000 bells each time I harvested it was it was I mean that is a pretty good deal so I don't know if I'll expand it at all. I don't know when or where I'll move it to. Okay, that will be for my daughter if she wants it. Anyway, so I moved these and I put all the dirt under them and maybe I'll get the hedge recipe today because it'll be the third time I've purchased from Leaf. So let's do this. Let's go, let's go do our ceremony first and then we'll do something else. But let's start with our ceremony. Oh my goodness, look how amazing we are. Wolfgang, your head's being hidden. Now then, I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. Yay, we're so cool. Thank you. Our fine harmony started with nothing more than a single tent and just look at it now. That's thanks to everyone's hard work and dedication. I simply can't thank you all enough. I want to invite the museum's curator, Blathers, and the roost's owner, Brewster, to say a few words. Yes, yes, gentlemen, if you would be, both be so kind. Residents of Harmony, I most humbly thank each and every one of you for your ongoing support of our esteemed museum. Brewster and I are old friends, and it pleases me to my very pin feathers to have him open his cafe here. This new edition shows how our museum is more than an institution of learning and culture. It is also a place for rest, relaxation, and stirring conversation among the Harmony community. I hope the Roost's coffee fuels many an animated discussion, and I look forward to seeing all of you there. Come by if you want some coffee. I'll clean a cup for you. <laughs> he makes me laugh every time. Oh, Brewster. Blathers, Brewster, thank you both. Next, I'd like to thank the one who tracked Brewster down, our resident representative, Robin. It's only right that we get a comment from Robin as well, hmm? Anything to add? <clears throat> We're amazing. <laughs> That looks like I don't really believe it because I'm laughing at it. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Robin. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the camera button. Yes, well then, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Harmony's beautiful museum. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, so cute. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Okay, I don't remember if I saw somebody on my island, but I don't see them now. So maybe, maybe they're just walking around. It's got to be somebody who's walking around, right? Um, I'm not. I'm not going in there right now. Oh, also... So I had stars. Celeste was here. That was exciting. That was my second time. Second time? First time? I I saw her before because I got the wand recipe. I'm just trying to remember if it was here. Like, I'm thinking it was here, but when she came yesterday, she was down here in the plaza, which is unusual after that first day. I don't know. But I got the Capricorn fragment. Um, Capricorn, what's it called? The recipe for the Capricorn. Let's go down here. Oops, too far. The Capricorn, where is it? Oh, right there. The Capricorn ornament. I am a Capricorn, so I really wanted it. And it goes away on the 19th. So I barely got it in time. So thank you very much, Celeste. And I have more than enough of what I need. So that's very exciting. Speaking of what I need, one of the other things that I decided I want to do on this island is... I gotta go back to this, is to craft every recipe that I get. Am I going to try and get every recipe? Yeah, probably eventually, but I wanna craft every single one that I get. Now, if you don't know this yet, 
Um, let's open it up first. Let's open, oh, I can't open it. <laughs> Unless I'm at the crafting bench. Let's go to the crafting bench and I'll show you what I'm trying to show you out. Oh, what a goofball. Yes, we would like to craft just for pretend though. So, <clears throat> if I click on fish bait, it shows me that it takes a, we're starting in the top left hand corner. It takes up a one by one square over to the right. I have zero in my pockets, that one that's kind of faded. Um, one more on the right, I have 20 in storage. Now if you go straight down from that, 20 that's in storage, it says previously crafted. See how there's a little check mark there? That means I have in fact crafted it and I want, all, I want to have crafted all of my um, recipes. Now, if you're just looking at them in your pockets, you can see the check mark. So this one didn't have a check mark because I have not crafted it yet. So I want to have crafted all of my recipes. And the reason that that matters is because I need to craft all my, um, all my snowflake. Anything that needs a snowflake, I need to craft soon. Like before the end, before the 24th of February, because I think that's when winter ends because after that I won't be able to get snowflakes and they take way more than I thought they did. So I need to I need to start crafting those. But this is the problem. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't have any desire to decorate with them. I don't have room for them in my storage. I don't necessarily need to keep all of them, just craft them. <sighs> so for now, I don't know, I'll probably just craft them and set them around. I should really just craft them and sell them. I don't know. Okay, what were we going to do? I have no idea. Oh, let me tell you something about the gardening really quickly. <clears throat> so I did a couple of days ago, let's see, on the 15th, my video 15, day 15 video, um, I linked Alexi Giovanni's um, Ultimate Flower Breeding Guide. I think it says Ultimate Watering Guide, but it's, it's really all about flowers. So um, I linked that, which explains the flowers. But I just, I wanted to, oh, Leonardo, I wanted to go that way. You're kind of in my way. Can I get, there we go. Okay, I wanted to get past it. So the reason that this grid setup matters, I'll try and remember to put the grid on the screen so you can see it. But the reason the setup matters is because if, you're, if your flowers are too close to each other, like if I have roses next to each other, then they can, they can crossbreed. And these, it's okay if they crossbreed, but we don't want this to crossbreed with this because it might, we might not be able to tell which it came from or we might get something we didn't want. In this case, it's really important to know which parent pair created which flower because that's part of the genetic system and how it all works out. Anyway, I don't remember if his video covers that. If it doesn't cover that, then maybe we'll have to talk about flowers. But flowers, it matters how closely they're planted. If you plant um, flowers together, even if they're all the same color, you can get different things. If you, if, you, if you grow something and you want more of that, then just plant that by itself and then it'll clone. Flowers can either clone or they can breed, and that's a whole other thing. But I just wanted you to understand why the placement is important. It's so that we have these close enough to get what we want, but that we have them far enough away from everything else that they don't that they don't um, crossbreed where we don't want them to breed. Right? I don't want these white ones to breed with these white ones for some reason. Actually, probably those white ones are just there to separate these two. I don't know. Anyway, but spreading them apart is important. It matters. Um, what else was I going to talk about? I don't think I was going to talk about anything else. Oh, let, let me just say really quickly. So I'll do this while, while I talk. Um, I was watching Mayor Earn's um, stream last night. Artist Earn, and I will link him in the description. I was watching his stream yesterday, and... Um, he said, oh, how cool is it that you and I both unknowingly decided to do a, to have a goal of doing a video every day this year at the same time without even knowing that. And I went and I didn't take the time to correct him then because stuff was happening. But I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you insane, man? No, no, I, I don't know. I don't know what I said that made it sound like that's what I wanted to do. Here's what I want to do. I want to play every day. And if I don't, that's okay. It's not a challenge. It's not a goal. I'm just kind of like, I think I want to play every day for a year. I think that would be cool. Um, 
But I did a video every day for um, the 24 days for my countdown island, which was 24 days to toy day. So I did a vi video every day and it was exhausting. And my problem is that I am very much um, a perfectionist and I get really hard on myself and I would like kill myself to make that happen. Especially since it's a no time traveling island on that um, countdown to toy day, even though we only played 24 in game days, there were some times when I did two in-game days on the same day so I could have a day when I didn't have to do anything and if I had to do it every single day without time skipping that's that's just ridiculous man I am so excited for you I hope I know how much you love it and I hope you can absolutely do that I am cheering you on but I'm linking him so you guys go watch him you go cheer him on too can I get that yeah um, because he's amazing and he rocks and he absolutely deserves more followers more 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 there's never enough right Ern? that's not true there are enough I don't know what the number is but there are enough okay this is what we're gonna do just double checking um 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 yeah we're gonna go to do I have any money oh I gotta go I gotta go chop down a tree first um I'm gonna go to Harv's Island and buy a thing just one thing oh i got it away again um i'm gonna buy a thing from leaf maybe a crop some crops and a thing um this will be my third time buying crops too and that should be um hmm that should be where you get the the veggie basket but three purchases is the the hedge recipe so we'll have to see what happens how that works out but I'm hoping that we can get that recipe so that I can put those hedges up because I really 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 want the hedges and we'll get the other hairdo which will be the braids because we set up red because we just learned that it's not about which island you get and it's not random it's about which person it's not about island it's not about which it's not about the number of co-ops you've set up and it's not random it's about which, uh, hmm. it's about which co-op you set up. My gosh, I don't even know. I'm going to try and get a really pretty picture here because this is beautiful. Oops, I don't want the snowball. Silly snowball. Okay, can we go right here? Oh, we can zoom in. Let's zoom in. Wait, we're kind of, um, look at me just kind of gazing off into the sunset. Okay, come over. No, no, come here. Okay, um, yeah, let's just, let's, yeah, let's take a picture there. That's cute. Okay, um, yeah, I'll see you on Harps. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I kind of got off track and a little crazy there. I apologize. Okay, let's, so we can get our hairdo, should we get our hairdo first? Let's get our hairdo first. Hello, Miss Harriet. Yes, I would love to try it out. Absolutely. Okay, let's get started. It's so cute. It really is so cute. Thank you, Harriet. Um, I do love it, but I don't think I'm going to wear it right now. I will wear it another time. Uh, yes, please. I would like my old hairdo back. There will be a time when I need this one, but not right now. I don't actually have bangs. My bangs are a lot like this. They just kind of sweep to the side, and they're just a little bit on the side. Most of them go up in my hair. Um, my hair, if I pull my hair up in a bun, like to go hiking or to clean the house, because <laughs> I do that when I clean, um, it looks a lot like this, actually. But... Um, most of the time I wear braids, like side braids that just hang down. Traditional braids, not French braids or anything. Just to get it out of my way, because it's quite long. Okay, um, do I want to talk to you yet? That's fake, because he's smiling. And that's fake, because it's her left leg forward. You have fake both days? That's not cool. Okay, let's talk to Leaf real quick. It is the most perfect day, yes. The camellia. I think I have camellia. camellias already. Let's see what you have. Uh, I'm here to shop. Awesome. So um, I got pumpkins and I got wheat. 
And I got these. Oh, because did I see you yesterday? I think I saw you yesterday. These, um, all of these refresh on Monday, so I should have known. Um, I'm going to buy another produce just so that it's the third day I buy produce and the third day I buy something and we can test that out. I'm going to buy a pumpkin. Just one. Yep. We're testing things today, Leaf. Testing things. We'll see how you feel about it. Uh, nope. That's it. Um, you didn't give me anything. Oh, there we go. Robin, have I ever told you that you remind me of a radiant lily? Hmm, although at this moment I'm getting a pansy vibe. The point is, you're one of my best customers, and I have a little thank you gift for you. It's a recipe for a hedge! Yay! Thank you, Leaf. I'd be so happy if you were to use it in your own gardening pursuits. Uh, yeah. Heck yes. Okay, and then I'm going to talk to him again. I don't imagine he'd give us a second recipe today, but I'm going to talk to him again and just see. Hey, what can I do for you? Um, I, I was just kidding. Okay, yeah. Um, this is what I'm going to do. We are not going to talk to you right now. We'll talk to you in a minute. Right now, we are going to go right here and we are going to play categories because this seems like a perfect place for it, right? Um, maybe. I don't know. That's a lot of color. Oh, I really like it. Let's try... What about back here? Ooh, that might be better. How about... Can we do it right here? I don't... I think... Oh, we could do it with leaf in it. Let's let's try that. Um, it's still a busy background. Okay, we're going to try this. See if we can make this work. This is the time in the video where we play Scategories. I will give you a topic. Should we go there? Yeah, we're going to go there. I will give you a topic. Today's topic is things you throw away. That's a pretty broad topic. Pretty much anything can go in there. Try and make it something that seems like something you would actually throw away. But really, anything can go in there. So, I'm going to roll the die, tell you your letter, and then you'll have 30 seconds to come up with an answer that starts with this letter. The more words in it that have this letter, that start with this letter, the more points you get toward nothing because the points don't mean anything. Okay, here we go. Good luck. Things you throw away, and your letter is A. Go. Okay, did you get something? I feel like this was a pretty easy one today because A is such a such a highly known, highly used letter. Like tons and tons of things start with A. Did you notice his mustache? Lloyd's mustache is blowing in the wind because hello, so cute. Love the detail in this game. Look how the pinwheels are going the same direction and the trees are going the direction because they're following the wind. Ah. Oh. So much awesome detail in this game. Okay, things you throw away, letter A. I chose asparagus because if you serve me asparagus, I'm gonna throw it away because I don't like asparagus. When I clean my plate and scrape it into the garbage, the asparagus is going in the trash. <laughs> I want to like asparagus. Like, it looks beautiful. I like most green vegetables and it looks like it would be great and I try it and it's not. So, I, I should, I wish I did, but I don't. Let me know if you like asparagus, but more importantly, well, tell me your categories answer, but more importantly, the reason we play categories is to choose our letter of the day, and today's letter of the day is A. So if your first name, last name, middle name, nickname, maiden name, gamer name, pseudonym, 
or either of your grandparents' names, start with the letter A, then you are my superstars for today. Yay for you. You're awesome. I don't want to stand right there, but it's pushing me. <laughs> You're awesome. You rock. You're amazing. The, um, the windmill was kind of pushing me. Okay, thank you so much for being here, everybody. You're all amazing. My superstars are a little bit extra amazing because they're superstars, but you know, you know, everybody's amazing. You're all great. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Go play some Animal Crossing because it will make you happy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.